Hi, and welcome to Accounting One. Today we're going to go over how to create an income statement. So we we'll start with an income statement. There's two different kinds: a single step and a multi-step. We're going to work on the single step, and we're going to talk about revenue and expenses. Those are the two parts of a single step. So the first thing you do when you're creating a financial statement, including an income statement, is create a heading. A, a heading consists of who, what, and when. Those are the three parts of the heading. The who tells us who owns the business, who is the owner, whose statement we're looking at. So if we come over here and look at the directions, we have Danielle's Dance Studio. So that's going to be our who. So we'll come up here and we'll type Danielle's Dance Studio. Then we have the what, and that tells a reader of a financial statement what they're looking at. What are they trying to see when they look at this financial statement? We're creating an income statement, so the name of our statement is an income statement. Income statements are also known as profit and loss statements. You may see that when you're looking at uh, financial statements doing the same thing. Finally, we come to the when. Um, an income statement is what's known as a change statement because it takes place over a period of time. You can see that we have fees, income, and three expenses. These items didn't happen on one single day. We accumulated them over a period of time. So in this instance, we're going to do it for one month. That'll be our period of time. And we know that because our directions say for the month of October 31st, 2012. So we're going to say for the month ended October, oops, October 31st, 2012. And can be for a month, for a quarter, uh, for two months, for a fiscal year end, for a calendar year end. You just have to know what your business is when you're doing this. And that will be given to you in the instructions. The first thing we start with with an income statement in a single step is our revenues. So the first thing we will do is we will list our revenues out. If we come and look at our list of accounts, it's kind of brief, we're just learning here, but we have fees, income, salaries, expense, utilities, expense, and advertising expense. Of the four, fees, income is our only income account, our only revenue account. Remember that revenue is cash inflows into the business for providing services. So Danielle is a dance studio. She was probably teaching people how to dance. Maybe they were becoming Dancing with the Stars and she had fees income from teaching dance. So we'll list the name of the statement and then we'll put the amount, $28,000. That is the only revenue account that we have. So we can feel free to go ahead and leave that as a uh, revenue, uh, as a single line. We don't have to have a subtotal because it's the only one we have. And then we can come down and we can put in the heading expenses. If you come over here, we have three expenses, and we're going to list our expenses in alphabetical order. So we're going to start with advertising expense, uh, and we're going to put it there for $500. Let me make this slightly larger so we can see the whole word. Uh, next in our alphabetical order would be salaries expense, and we'll list that for $5,000. And finally, we'll have utilities expense. And we will list our utilities there for $1,000. Now, different from what we had in the revenue section where we only had one, here in the expenses we have three expenses. So we want to give a subtotal to help us understand what is happening. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say total expenses. And I'm going to sum these three items. I'm going to use my sum button in Excel. It's going to sum it right up for me. Um, what's nice about using Excel and doing your homework in Excel is if you make a mistake, um, say you missed an account, it's very easy to add and, and it'll recalculate for you. And, and I really like doing homework in Excel for that reason. Now one thing we have to talk about is right here when we're looking at total expenses and financial accounting, what we would do is we would put a single line underneath the 1000 so I'm going to use my Excel buttons to do that. I'm going to put a single line. Can you see that? Let me make it uh, very dark so that you can see 
see it. In fact, I'm going to put it in a different color so that you can see it there. It's in blue. Um, and what that does for a user of financial information is it alerts them to the fact that you're going to do a function. So in this instance, we're summing. We're adding 500, 5,000, and 1,000 so that we get our total expenses, what they totally are. The next thing we want to do is we want to come over here and we want to calculate what's known as net income or net expense. Now in this instance, if we look, we can do it with our eyeball. We had income or revenue of 28,000. We had expenses of 6,500. So obviously our revenue, our income was higher than our total expenses. So we're gonna say net income. Unfortunately in business, sometimes it's true that these expenses will be higher than our revenue. When that happens, we experience a net loss. So I'm gonna just use my Excel here. I'm gonna put equals my revenue minus my total expenses. And what we do in accounting here is we're also going to use the single line up top so that people know that we are doing a um, function here. We are summing. So the single line can mean addition or subtraction. I like to use the term function. And then what we come down here and do is we put double lines, oops, so we'll come down here and we'll have uh, the double lines, which is sometimes hard to see in Excel. Let me make sure, see if I can put that in there for you again. So I, I don't know if you can quite see right here, but those are two lines. Um, sometimes if I make the font bigger, you can see, so you can see that those are double lines right here, and that's very important because what it allows a user of financial information to do is know that you're done. That's a completion. The two lines here allow the user to know that you are completely finished with your income statement. So again, whenever you're going to do a function, like here we're doing a sum function, here we're doing a subtraction. And then when you're finished, the double lines, it's very important in accounting. We have to make sure that we are, are following the, the form that is done all the time. Thank you very much for coming and listening to how to create an income statement. And I wish you much success.